We have very tight controls on what wind and meteorological data we can collect on the race course and it means that we're really restricted on what we can use to make these models but luckily we've been here for a few years now. We've sailed all over every corner of the Great Sound and this allows us to collect millions of data points of wind strength and direction over this period of time. Taking that in hand We've been able to uh, work with the experts from Airbus who uh, do a lot of big data modelling and also the experts at Oracle who provided the tools for us to use and uh, expert insight on how to use them. The Oracle Team USA was relying on, on experts to, to be able to understand the global wind pattern uh, over the bay. The challenge for Airbus was to design an intelligent algorithm to help them uh, decrypt the uh, complex wind pattern in order to help them to prepare the race. To build this intelligent model, uh, we use the uh, large amount of, of data of the training sessions of the boat uh, over several months, uh, together with the uh, data coming from the uh, local uh, weather ground stations on the island. So finally, we have a web application which automatically pulls weather stations across the bay and gives the wind field prediction insight. Uh, the model accounts for local geographical properties of the island, which uh, the global meteorological models cannot do. It can predict the small-scale, close, fine-grained stuff that we need to actually predict. Will the wind be better 100 yards closer to shore or 100 yards further from shore? And these sort of predictions where the guys can look at a, a tablet or a screen on the boat and say, yep, we're going to tack now. <laughs> use the wind predictions to make those decisions will give us an advantage on the race course.